The digital atelier in Mercerville creating sculptures is something out of a sci-fi film, replacing hands and chisels with computer-operated machinery and lasers. Uh, essentially, we're a, uh, a large-scale model-making business. Uh, we're, we run everything via digital files, transposing that into what we can use on machines to do the same thing that was done for years by hand. Clients include artists like Jeff Koons and Kiki Smith and companies like Disney Pixar. It all starts with a, a maquette or a figure that someone wants to enlarge. Mm -hmm. uh, we laser scan it, create a 3D model on the computer, clean up the model, and then convert that model to uh, software that the machine can read and mill the part in whatever material they like. This process, called subtractive manufacturing, is used to create molds, restore damaged works, and build larger versions of models. The Henry Moore to the rent people in the Renaissance all worked with small models first so they could visualize what they might need at a grand scale. Uh, plus, it's just not affordable to, to work at 10 feet and not like your project. At the Digital Atelier, though, technology means a more precise product and a lot of time saved for artists. It's really fast. <laughs> I mean, if you're a sculptor and you're doing your own work, it could take months to do an enlargement. And we can generally do like a 10-foot enlargement in about five days. Lash is not just a practitioner of the process. He's a pioneer in the field. I'm a sculptor, and I worked uh, at Johnson Atelier mm -hmm. for 20 plus years, um, helping run their, their foundry and their enlarging department. I uh, had the idea that we could do this through computers and some of the new machinery that was just starting. The shop, which was originally part of the nonprofit Johnson Atelier, created jobs and turned profits at such a rate that it needed to branch off as a for-profit endeavor. The first couple of years, it was a lot of trial and error. But once we got going, uh, the clients just started pouring in. And while the Digital Atelier has found great success with their technology, they can't wait to see what's next. Kids are, uh, are being taught some of the software now at much younger ages. Someday people are just going to think about it, and then a little printer in the background is just going to print it out for them. But in the meantime, with orders coming in from all over the world, Lash and Renew will have plenty to keep them busy. In Mercerville, I'm Maddie Orton for NJTV News.